Good morning guys, it is day two of our North Korean trip. Just had some breakfast, it is bright and early, it's like 8 a.m. First thing today, we are heading off to see some statues of the leaders. And then, um, yeah, then I think we're heading to church. Now, as you know, our leaders, I mean, the President Kim Il-sung and leader Kim Jong-il are all respected by our four Korean people and even the world people. So, please be careful with your actions. Please do not make uh, like peace signs in front of the statues. Our bus is passing by Kim Il-sung Square, the biggest square in our country and the main, main one and many uh, national functions are held in this square. incident has happened which means we are not allowed to go to the the grand monument the statues of the leaders which we were heading to but you could see them i was, I was filming a little bit out there out the window but um, i guess we're just gonna chill look around some other places So this building that we've just been looking at is actually a library. I thought it was a temple, but it's just a traditional Korean building. And it's uh, yeah, a massive library. So this is the main square where they do humongous performances. And I've just been told all these dots on the ground is like position marks for people to stand. So there'd just be like thousands, tens of thousands of people. And if you look over there, there's people rehearsing at the moment. We're here at Kim Il-sung Square in the DPRK, and we're teaching Miss Kim how to beatbox. Miss Kim, what you got? Let's, uh, let's test out this North Korean coffee. Mm. That is all right. That is all right. Apparently this is like the only coffee shop in this whole city, so I'm glad we found it. Cheers, bro. DPRK pot. DPRK. It's North Korea versus America. This is a very tense match. There is a lot riding on this match. Lane, what's the name of this square? This is Kim Il-sung Square. This is the main square in It's just so Pyongyang. interesting to be walking here right now. Like, I can't even explain it. So another term for North Korea is the DPRK, which is the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. So that's what they refer to it as here. Um, yeah, we're learning a lot. We're learning a lot of cool things about the culture here. It's kind of fascinating. We've learned that people perfect uh, whatever they're learning. So whether it's like one of the performances, whether it's the flag waving or some of the performances we, since we saw last night, like the singing and the the playing of that instrument, like people uh, are perfectionists here. Much like South Korea when I went, um, the culture is one of perfectionism. We were just saying something that's so exciting about being here is that there's probably only a hundred tourists in this entire city. Out of like three million people in the city, there's only a hundred tourists. Louis, we can't cross the road. We can't. Sorry. Where, where's the crossing? Is there a crosswalk? We don't have zebra up front. Oh, so sorry. Oh, oh, we're not supposed to go to that side. Back on the bus. <laughs> Who 
Here we are at a North Korean church. This is surreal, bro. Lunchtime. Check this out. We've just got a little platter of tofu and vegetables. We've got a little pan of boiling oil in here. Oh, I need to be careful. Ah, oh, yeah. Is that oil? Is it boiling oil or water? Mm. <laughs> We are done with lunch. Unfortunately, it started raining, so I don't know if we're gonna to go to the water park now. That might be postponed. We've just arrived at another landmark. This, I can't remember what this is called. This is our guide, Miss Kim. What's this tower called again? Okay, so this is the Tower of Chute Idea. Yeah. The guiding ideology of our party. Cool. And there's like a flame at the top of it. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a big flame. And that lights up at night, doesn't it? Yes. Guys, check out this cool beetle. Okay, he needs to chill somewhere now. Where do you want to go, bro? We got in the elevator, we're heading up, we've got the crew. <laughs> is everyone coming or not? Uh, not everyone, this is an option. There's an optional, okay. there's an optional cost. So we were just told this is the tallest stone tower in the world. 170 meters. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it looks a lot different from up here. Yeah, there's our hotel over there. Check that out. Guys, look, there's the coffee shop we went to this morning. There's the square where they were practicing, and the library. It's always fascinating looking at a city from above. And this is amazing. This section here, particularly, look at this whole neighborhood, it's like multicolored, all the buildings are different colors. Natural hair? Yep. It's all my natural hair. I don't believe it. No, you connected. You connected this one. No, it's real. This is all he does, pretty much. It's real. Yeah. You just roll the hair. It feels like rope. That's all he does. They're fascinated. I've probably never seen it before. So, guys, this is the main Democratic Party symbol and it's the the hammer which is for the workers it symbolizes the workers the sickle which symbolizes the farmers and then the paintbrush which symbolizes the intellectuals it's pretty cool isn't it at the water park, everyone's got surfboards. This could be pretty fun. Me and Lane don't really surf. I've done a tiny bit of surfing. No, no. no. We can learn, but this, this is the trip we're gonna try and learn. Let's just ride slides. Yeah. It has started raining again, but this is crazy. We are literally in a water park with a thousand North Koreans. Blaring I, opera music. Yeah, blaring opera music. I just, this is another, I think this whole trip's just gonna be full of surreal moments where I have to just remind where myself we? where we are. This is unbelievable. And then we've got our dude to the surfboards. The only surfboards yeah. in the country. I don't, I don't think anyone surfs here. This isn't like a normal 
thing at this water park, but there just happens to be a wave machine, so. How's it going, Louis? That is just so much fun. <laughs> Stitches, getting stitches. Wow, well, we've got the whole squad. Miss Kim, I guess I'm glad we didn't drag you on the slide with us. I think because of our weight and height, though, bro. Dude, yeah. We're too tall. Yeah. Me and Lane are back from our uh, slide incident. I can't believe I slammed my head so hard. Both of us feel Dude, almost concussed. That's the worst I've ever hit my head, and it was on a slide. Oh, that's crazy. So. This is Riley, he's killing it with the surf lessons today. He's showing all the North Korean kids how to do it. Getting to teach North Korean surfing. Well, I didn't teach him any surfing. I actually got taught myself. But being part of the team that are doing this, this is, uh, yeah, what incredible stuff. I think this is like potentially the first team that's brought surfboards into North Korea. Um, yeah, wow. Can I say, Riley, you did a good job today, surf instructing. I saw you, bro, showing all the kids where to sit on the board, where to lie on the board. That was fun, man. That was good. Are you serious? Good job, man. Okay, more kimchi tonight and some noodles. And what is that, mushrooms? Yeah, mushrooms. Nice. I will be right here. Waiting for you. <sighs> well guys, it's been an amazing second day in North Korea. I'm still buzzing being here and it feels like we've been here a lot longer than two days. Um, but yeah, just action packed, full of cool things, visiting amazing places, monuments. Um, just seeing places like the water park blew my mind because it's made me realise a lot of what we see in the media uh, about North Korea being frozen in time and very basic. There might be elements of that, but it was primarily today just realising, wow, there's a very active, um, you know, happy civilization getting on with their day-to-day -day life, and it's not too dissimilar to other cultures I've seen. Um, I'm really keen to continue exploring and just finding out uh, aspects that are just different. And um, yeah, what a privilege, what, some, what an amazing chance to, to see an isolated culture like this. Um, but I'm yeah, really enjoying it. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying me taking you along for the adventure. And uh, tomorrow we're getting to, I think we're getting to visit school. And from what I've heard, it may be one of the first, or maybe even the first time, uh, any foreign people, organisations or anything have been allowed into a North Korean school. So we're going to be giving out some skateboards and doing a skateboard demo and stuff. And yeah, I'm just, I cannot wait. This is going to be 
one of those I think this whole thing is just like a, a feels like a once in a lifetime um, opportunity so I'm grabbing it with both hands I'll see you in the morning peace out enjoy life and live the adventure boom